Ventricular septal defects is the second uh, left to right shunt that we have to discuss. We have already talked about atrial septal defect in my previous video and uh, you will have to watch my previous videos of this chapter to better understand what do we actually mean by left to right shunt. So if this is the heart and uh, I tell you that this is the right side of the heart and this is the left side of the heart. So any opening in the atria is potentially a cause of left to right shunting of the blood similarly any opening in the ventricle is also a potential cause of left to right shunt so this is very important to have a basic understanding that ventricular septal defect which is also called vsd um, routinely so vsd is a cause of left to right shunt so there is mixing of oxygenated blood with the deoxygenated blood so from the left side the blood enters into the right side okay so defects in the ventricular septum allows left to right shunting and constitute the most common congenital cardiac anomaly at birth so that's an important line if somebody asks you what is the most common cardiac anomaly at birth at birth uh, there are other cardiac anomalies which usually lead to death in utero but here we are talking about a specific point of time at birth this is the most common cardiac anomaly with which children are born the ventricular septum normally is formed by a muscular ridge that grows upward from the heart apex which is this area fusing with the thinner membranal partition that grows downward from the endocardial cushion so if you remember the embryology better how does uh, the system work is that the uh, ventricular septum basically has two components there is a muscular component which actually grows from the apex of the heart so this is the cardiac apex and that's the muscular ventricular septum part and then there is a membranous portion which actually comes from uh, the upper part here we have the endocardial cushions which are the basic fibrous ring for the heart and from here there is a membrane so uh, joined together this muscular portion and the membranous portion they both actually make the ventricular septum so that's uh, briefly mentioned here now the membranous region which is also called the basal region is the last part of the septum to develop and therefore it is the site of approximately 90 percent of the vsd so the membranous portion okay because it develops in the end there are chances that uh, you know in the end sometimes when we do thing um, uh, there is always something which is left to be done so that something left to be done may here lead to ventricular septal defect okay most ventricular septal defects close spontaneously in the childhood that's also good news that it uh, closes spontaneously but only 20 to 30 percent of the ventricular septal defects occur in isolation and the remainder associated with other cardiac abnormalities that's an important point so whenever you uh, suspect a patient with ventricular cardiac defect and you confirm this on various laboratory and radiological investigations you always have to think about are there any other cardiac anomalies um, present concomitantly or not because that's an important piece of information okay right now what would you expect clinically um, clinically uh, a small ventricular septal defects may be asymptomatic and some of them i told you already close spontaneously half of those in the muscular portion of the septum closes spontaneously during the infancy or childhood so they may not be even noticed um, however sometimes the defects are larger and they may result to chronic left to right shunting often complicated by pulmonary hypertension and congestive heart failure so if this keeps on going for a long period of time that there is an opening in the ventricular septum and there is a continuous shunting of blood from the left side to the right side so what's actually happening is that the right side of the heart is sending a lot of blood to lungs because uh, it is sending its own blood which is the right ventricles blood and it is now also receiving blood from the left ventricle so that's also going to the lungs so and obviously when the lungs get congested and their pulmonary hypertension they will be always backlog so there can even be left-sided heart failure because of right-sided heart failure so patient may have congestive heart failure progressive pulmonary hypertension with resultant reversal of the shunt and cyanosis may occur so uh, this has to be understood so if uh, you know uh, think it this way initially when there is a shunt from the left side to the right side blood goes right and uh, this increased amount of blood will go into the lungs ab lungs mein zare chronic agar ye masla hoga bahut sara blood ja raha so ultimately there will be pulmonary resistance pulmonary hypertension aur aapka jo left side hai uh, that will all, they may also start failing and there will come a time and there may come a time ki right side pe na pressure bahut zyada bad jayenge because ab ye right side ko blood pump karna hai lungs mein 
में लंग में ऑलरेडी रेजिस्टेंस बढ़ी हुई है तो ये ब्लड भी आगे नहीं जा रहा तो दे मे बी ए रिवर्सल ऑफ शंट अब ये शुरू हो जाएगा कि राइट साइड से लेफ्ट साइड पे ब्लड जाना शुरू हो जाए और अगर ऐसा हुआ तो नाउ इट कैन बिकम साइनोटिक मतलब जहर डी ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड अगर मिक्स हो जाएगा ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड के साथ तो द लेवल्स ऑफ ऑक्सीजन विल गो डाउन हेयर सो साइनोसिस में इंस्यू ना द पॉइंट इज कि यूजअली लेफ्ट साइड टू राइट साइड जो शंट्स होते हैं दे आर नॉन साइनोटिक ना अभी तक जो हम बात कर रहे थे बट इफ देर इज रिवर्सल जब प्रेशर इतना बढ़ जाएगा राइट साइड ऑफ द हार्ट में कि द शंट एक्चुअली बिकम्स रिवर्स नाउ इट कैन बिकम साइनोस ओके सो नाउ द पेशेंट विल हैव साइनोस इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके एंड इट अकर्स मोर फ्रिक्वेंटली विद वेंट्रिकुलर सेप्टल डिफेक्ट दैन एट्रियल सेप्टल डिफेक्ट रीजन बींग के वेंट्रिकुलर चैम्बर्स आर रेलेटिवली हायर प्रेशर चैम्बर्स एज कंपेयर टू द एट्रिया अर्ली सर्जिकल करेक्शन इज देयर फॉर इंडिकेटेड फॉर सच लीजेंस स्मॉल और मीडियम साइज डिफेक्ट दैट प्रोड्यूस जेट लीजेंस इन द राइट वेंट्रिकल मे ऑल्सो कॉज एंडोथीरियल डैमेज एंड इंक्रीज द रिस्क ऑफ इन्फेक्टिव एंडोकार्ट वेन एवर देर इज यू नो एनी डिस्टर्बेंस इन द ब्लड फ्लो now that disturbance can be because of obstruction that disturbance can be because of any stenosis or any unusual opening any disturbance in the routine blood flow may have chances of you know damage and infection and all this so there may be like when imagine this left side is a high pressure pump when it contracts usually blood ko kahan jana chahiye aorta mein badab wo psh karke yahan bhi aa raha hai so jab yahan aayega to side ki endothelium damage ho sakti hai uh, infection inflammation all these sorts of thing okay so easy bit hai understand karna uh, ventricular septal defects sizes may be small and uh, larger um, and you may have to correct them surgically so so pretty straight forward topic what you have to remember th- that there are three categories of left to right shunt the first one is atrial septal defect which we have already done the second one is ventricular septal defect which we have done today and the next video will be on patent ductus arteriosus which we are going to do in the next video take care of yourself